Anyway. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. In my opinion. Oh, for fuck's sake. Extra! Extra! As you all know, I play video games for a living. Whether it's streaming or making videos with my friends, I tend to get very passionate about my opinions on video games. But today I thought I'd flip the script. Instead of sharing my hot takes, I wanted to hear yours. So I asked you guys in a community post, what are your hottest takes on video games? And let me tell you, I hated some of them. Especially the ones about Zelda. I really hate it though. So anyway, let's take a quick look at my community's worst takes on gaming. Welcome to the Terrorizer Extra community tab. Right, so what we're doing right now, we're live streaming right now, as you can see above me, there's a the chap. Uh, we're going to be going through the community tab, and uh, here's some of the stuff Mick has been doing. Look at this. I didn't even tell them to put this up. <laughs> uh, yeah, no one's safe right here. Once Mick gets his hands on something, it's going up on the community tab. Uh, yeah, not even I'm safe. That's great. Do not listen to this. I'm not a furry. These are lies, allegations, false allegations. I will be suing. Mick is in trouble. Right, so here it is. What are your hot takes on video games? So we're going to go through these. I'm worried there's going to be a bunch of these that I don't even get. And it's going to really expose how, how... Like, the problem with YouTube is, when you're doing, like, what we do, I don't feel like I'm able to sit down and play as much games as I used to be able to. So I feel like for a lot of the newer ones, I'm going to be very lost. Now, I'm not going to get all these. I'm not. I might do top. Let's do top. Okay, so here you go. I'll be reviewing your hot takes on stream. Like, here here we are right now. Make sure uh, to give your spiciest and most controversial takes on gaming. Here's the top one. It's okay for games to be mindless fun. Not everything needs to be groundbreaking experience with a life-changing story and an insurmountable challenge to be considered a good or even fun game. It seems like the trend of late is just a mind-numbingly difficult game is now the thing. You know? There's, there's like battle royales they're fun and then they're not fun and then you know dark souls and then comes into Elden ring all these games now of just torturing yourself there was a game years ago that i loved that was just mindless fun bullet storm does anyone remember bullet storm on the xbox 360 really showing my age but bullet storm was like the perfect example of just a dumb ass fucking fun game that game was so good oh my god just look it up you used to drop kick people in the balls like enemies you would drop kick or just kick them in the balls or something like that such a good stupid game it was like it was like a gears of war except made by stupid people and it was so great i i miss those kind of games so i do agree i don't think this is a hot take i don't yeah this ain't a hot take i don't think that's a hot take at all that's just normal my hot take I wouldn't even say actually this is a hot take. I think I'm making no points whatsoever in this whole thing. Uh, but the the gaming scene right now is the most toxic scene in the world. Um, in the sense of dead game. You know the way this person is saying mindless fun? I think all games should be just deemed as fun. If the person playing is having fun. I hate this mindset of people going over to different communities or whatever. People still play this game? Yeah, shut the f*** up, you f***ing sheep. Yes, people still play this game. People like different games, old games, new games. Games that might not be as popular because you're dog shit at this game. So you move on or your favorite content creator is dog shit. The only reason why, like live streamers and people like me will play sir, I'm only playing Wukong because it's f***ing popular right now. I'm not, I'm not foaming at the mouth waiting for Wukong to come out and I'm like, you know, jacking off my little, my little knob. Oh, I can't wait. I fucking can't wait. This game came along out of nowhere for me and I'm like, oh, it's making views. That's why most people play these games. They play games because they're popular and they're going to make the money. People are going to watch because they're relevant. That's it. So it's a little ties into this that I think the gaming scene, not just video games, but the gaming scene needs to be just mindless fun. People should just be enjoying people having fun. That's what I like. Okay. I kind of made a good opinion-ish. Well, that's my opinion. Normally, it's my opinions are normally shit. All right. Every $60, $70 game deserves a compulsory proper playable demo to determine if it's worth the game, uh, worth the buy. That right there. I think there should be laws. I actually really agree with that. I think there should be some kind of governing body that should be implementing laws into this. Every game, really speaking, should have a grace period to no questions refund which steam does which is kind of good but you know the old discs were really good of having like a two hour playable demo i do i do agree with that i think there should be a law uh for video games to protect consumers 
that if a game, any game, I think it's regardless of the price, if a product is not fully finished and the gaming industry has been taking advantage of consumers for so long of selling you a fully priced game that is not finished, that should be against the law. There has to be something there that I feel like the gaming industry is so big. Why is there no real like governing body Hurry to protect to consumers? The game, Brian, Shut the f my time. up, you little bitch. Thank you for the five dollars. Yeah, so I think I, I I agree with this. Don't think this is a hot take. I think this is just it should be. Steam already kind of have that. Yeah, kind of, but not everyone's getting their games through Steam. Also, uh, very good take. I don't think that's a I don't think that's a, a hot take. I think that's just a very good take. That's very logical. I like that. Agreed, big time. Sorry, I'm hiding my Discord because I don't want to do uh, one of those live streamers that leaks their Discord where they're saying racial slurs because <laughs> you know me all the time. Here's one from Mick. Old games like Orcarina of Time are overrated. <sighs> Old games like Orcarina of Time are overrated because people are blinded by nostalgia rather than the actual quality of the game. While innovative in its time, many of its gameplay mechanics, controls, and story elements are clunky. The rose-tinted glasses of nostalgia made people overlook its flaws. And if it was released today, it would be mediocre. Bro, this is the worst opinion I've ever seen. This is the worst opinion I've ever seen. That's like saying, cars back in the 40s were actually not that good. If those cars were made today, I don't think they would be appreciated like they, the, you know, people say. It Hi, is Brian. a f***ing game sweatshirt. developed Can years ago where technology and development toolkits were, so, were nowhere near today. How the hell can you try and make a comparison? If these games were released today, they were, <laughs> their elements are so clunky. What are you f***ing talking about? That is the most idiotic take I've ever seen. Orc Arena of Time in comparison to other games developed at that time is a mind-blowing breakthrough in game development. You're, you're talking about the limitations of RAM on a device. Like, you, you, you just like the limitations of the hardware and being able to develop stuff with the software of the time is so important in this comparison that you cannot just say, well, if you made these games now, there'd be, there'd people would really see the flaws. Here is, it's absolutely the most idiotic. Uh, no wonder Mick gave me this one. Just this one pissed me the f off. I actually want to ban you from the channel. <laughs> I'm so pissed. That is crazy. What's Orcarina? Ocarina. Ocarina. Sorry, I pronounce Orcarina because I'm Irish. We've always, for some reason, we just say Orcarina. I don't know. It's just a thing that I do. Uh, sorry, Ocarina of Time. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I know that's the correct way to say it, and that's actually the word, but I've never said it like that. And I, I do apologize. Ocarina. That's how I've always said it. And, that, and you know what? I'm not fucking changing. I don't care. This has pissed me off. Absolutely mind-meltingly. You know the word I want to say. Re -re -re really bad take. Really bad take. You have to take in into consideration the RAM of the games. Okay, the memory size of the game's capability, uh, the power and graphic, graph, the fucking N64 can only produce so much. The hardware is so important. I can't believe you're not even taking that into consideration. That game is, that pushed the N64 to its limits, to its limits. And to think that Majora's Mask required that little booster pack to add more RAM, to heighten the, the actual console to do more more RAM to load more stuff. The, the Ocarina of Time game didn't need that. Bro, that game is a masterpiece. A masterpiece. Anyway, terrible take. The game is absolute perfection. The N64, when you look at it, the games are not that great. I will admit on that. I love you, my beautiful chicken I think that's, I think that's the worst take Heart. I've ever seen. All right, good job. That one really pissed me off. COD Infinite Warfare was overhated. It was probably one of the best of the future set of COD games, as it had great campaign and the zombies were fun too. <sighs> oh, bro, that is that's a, that, that's not just a hot take. That's fuck. That's mercury. That's that is a, <laughs> that is a, that is 
over overhated. I think it's underhated. Infinite Warfare is one of the worst Call of Duties I've ever played. Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare. Do you know what? I would take COD Ghosts was overhated. That's my that's my hot take. Co Call of Duty Ghosts not as bad as people made out. That's overhated, in my opinion. Because I just got a glance, I see another one, Seth. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. COD Ghosts was a step down from I can't remember what the one before was. It uh, Modern Warfare Three. It, it was around there, and then COD Ghosts. People were like, this is terrible. This is crap. And then Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare came out. Now you realize how good Ghost was. That's my that's my opinion. Right, hide my screen. Seth has sent me another one. Uh, this could be a funny one. So, Seth and Mick have given me these. Uh, Crash Team Racing on the PS1 better than all Mario Kart games. Oh, I can't agree with that. I can't. I'll tell you what the great, the greatest Mario Kart game of all time is, is Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash. No. It ain't. Crash Team Racing is not. Mario Kart Double Dash is, is the best racing car game of all time. Uh, uh, it's 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 uh, I miss like the good old days of crash crash one and Cod crash World racing War games 2. are good. Don't get me wrong on the PS One, but Mario Kart Double Dash, nothing has come close to Double Dash is one of the best. Yeah, Mario Kart Double Dash is the greatest Mario Kart game of all time. Crash Team Racing is good, but it don't come close to Double Dash. I can't accept that. A valid point, it being better than a lot of Mario Kart games in comparison, but Double Dash, nothing has come close. That's not a hot take. That's napalm. <laughs> that shit is never coming off. Glitchy here says, Tears of the Kingdom could have done a much better job in incorporating traditional elements of the Zelda series with the new open world aspect to find a middle ground to satisfy both older and newer fans. Some of the dungeons were worse than ones in Breath of the Wild, especially the water temple since it's extremely easy and the storytelling of the game was incredibly weak in some areas. I'm going to be honest with you. I agree with this. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! This is a good hot take. Breath of the Wild had me hooked. Tears of the Kingdom did not. I never finished Tears of the Kingdom. I was able to put down Tears of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild had me hooked. And I think it was to do with the overcomplexity of going up. For some reason, I like keeping on the ground and just looking straight in games, looking around like this. But once I have to start doing this shit, <laughs> of of going up it's like in call of duty games when you have to start fucking, you know wall climbing and running up walls and all this shit skill issue maybe maybe but i and then going de i don't know i think sometimes games can be too big i think sometimes games can be too big you are like wow the world is so huge it's incredible it's groundbreaking but also no one wants to be running around the place and going down and then going up and then it's just uh you know sometimes games can be just too fucking big and i kind of agree with this i think this is a good take i think tears of the kingdom is i uh, know i know it's definitely not as good as breath of the wild i think breath of the wild is phenomenal oh my god bro. oh hell no man man get your ass on i think it's amazing Tears of the Kingdom was really fun at first, but then it just, I don't know. I just kind of fell out of it. Good hot take. I think that's a good hot take. Okay. YouTubers need to quit showing off how to use glitches in multiplayer games. It's all BS. They're not showing you how to make everyone aware so the devs can fix it. They're abusing it because it makes people mad and gets content. Well, what's the hot take here? YouTubers need to quit showing up. No, we don't. Why would we do that? <laughs> Why? What the fuck? No. So just leave it in the game? So other people can do it and piss you off. YouTubers do it. Make developers aware of it. They'll fix it. Or else we don't fucking show it. And then you just get piped up the ass by some nobody in every single fucking game, in every single round. People will become aware of it. And then not as fast as if YouTubers make people aware of it, especially the devs. So what do you want? Do you want people who are not known on the internet to take advantage of something and then utilize it? Or is it, are you a person that wants to take advantage of these glitches and you're fed up of YouTubers doing it and then it gets fixed? What do you want? What do you want? Like, what, what, what do you want? I, this, this is, this is just a bad take.
we're we're YouTubers. It's what it's what we do. It's making content and getting getting like getting reactions. Why would you? One sec. Why would you post this on a person? The do you not know my work? What the? Fuck? <laughs> what the? Fuck? Have you not seen my earlier work? My whole career is built on the foundation of of being a prick and being a troll. You, I think you're lost, buddy. <laughs> I think you're lost. No, this I completely disagree with this. The whole Vanos crew is built on the foundations of this. Uh, yeah, no, stupid. Anyway, the Legend of Zelda series isn't really all that good. It's just nostalgic for people who played the N64 and GameCube era games. Brian, I love you, bro, and you're wearing my merch. I love you. You know I do. You're 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 a great guy. You're a great guy, but you're banned. You're banned. You're out of here. Okay, you you didn't have a Nintendo. You didn't have these consoles. Yeah, you, you know you just don't get it. You just don't get it. All right, uh, you've you've let me down. You're not allowed to wear my merch anymore. That is an incredible hot take. That's just and it's also just a bad take. The story writing and the lore, the canon, everything about the Legend of, Legend of Zelda, the imagination involved with it, the music, everything. It's so good. And here's another thing, Brian. Tell me. Tell me when a Legend of Zelda game has come out and has had to be patched. Tell me when a, a Zelda game has come out and it's had nothing but glitchy issues and has to have been patches made or is incomplete and has not been perfection since the release of the game. Tell me, Brian. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tears of the Kingdom had to be patched. Well, for, for, for what? I mean, like, look, no, 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 no. Incom incomplete, like, just absolute garbage on release. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking, when I'm talking about, of course there's going to be things that they, that they patch. Little things. I'm talking, the game is just a mess. There's always going to be, like, issues with, with, with games that they fix. But, like, I'm always thinking of, uh, Cyberpunk. And there must be a reason why all the games get incredibly high ratings from, and it's nothing to do with nostalgia. It's just to do with the fact that the game is good. Listen, I'm always going to defend Zelda, but that's because the games are great. Anyway. Trigger warning. Trigger warning, in my opinion. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zelda isn't a very good franchise. Now, in my opinion. Respect opinion. But you're wrong. The old ones are worse. And they have slowly become less crap. Until Tears of the Kingdom. When it really fell off a cliff. I kinda agree with Tears of the Kingdom. It is, is, is bad. I think it's overrated. And doesn't even have a good st good story. Games like Pokemon Legends of Arceus are far superior in gameplay, graphics, storyline. Brother, ugh. Pokemon Legends of Ar of Ar is it Arceus or Arceus? I think it's Arceus. Oh it looks God. like a Breath of the Wild with like seven. I turned on low graphics quality. Just low. There's no fo foliage foliage to save like game performance for frames. Uh, no. No, Jesus Christ. Breath of the Wild and, and Tears of the Kingdom. Jesus Christ. Visually, the game is fucking beautiful for what the Switch, like, capabilities of the Switch. No. Nah, 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 nah. Storyline, I don't know. I haven't finished Arceus. Uh, gameplay. Zelda games run fucking great. They run really good. I don't know about gameplay. But maybe, maybe overrated as in people make it out to be way better than what it is. Maybe you have something there, but I think the games run great. The graphics are beautiful in Zelda games. And the storyline is, I don't have any issue with the storyline. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just opinions, but you're wrong. You're, you're, you're just wrong. Brian's videos are funnier than Vanos and Noglus. Agreed. Agreed. All right, let's. Uh, have we got more? Have we got more? A lot of Zelda ones. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, one sec. I'll get you more. Uh, okay, read these ones and that's a wrap. Okay, okay. Yeah, Seth. Seth, you're such a bitch. Do you want to see what Seth is saying about me? This is what Seth is saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry I'm talking. Oh, I'm sorry I'm interacting with the computer. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm playing the Wooka. Play the Wooka. Oh, you don't. Oh, you make a statement. You know, I'm talking with the community. Fuck you. Do you know what, Mitch? I'm sorry. By the way, chat. Okay? Mick, 788 comments. Oh, I'm sorry that a shit ton of people have done it. Maybe next time you go through all these and have these ready for me to go through. How about that? That's what we do, you little bitch. Like it. And you 
you, Seth? How about you do something? You get me a Google Doc with all the best takes instead of me <laughs> urging through it. How about that? Do a fucking earn your fucking wages, you little bitches. That's my stuff. There. That's my hot take, this Seth. Yap, yap, yap. I meant you stop I'm going gonna, to fucking I'm football matches with I the swear. boys and actually do a bit of work and make me a Google Doc with all the fucking community things to make me yap less. Fuck you, Seth. Just Leo says, <laughs> Gaming is not a meal for you to consume 12 hours a day. Game companies are not required to give you everything you want from a game immediately. We need to grow up and actually start thinking about the people who spent years and years developing those games for ungodly hours, being rushed by their company owners, only for entitled pricks to call them lazy and boring. Games that is an escape from your not a permanent home. Bro, this ain't a hot take. This is fucking fire. This is... No, no, sorry. This is straight fire, meaning this is just facts. This is... Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I like this. This is... um, Yeah, so I agree with this. This is a good take. I like it. Uh, I agree, Seth. Holy app. Hey, you dumb leprechaun. I passed by Yap's V. They want their mare back. Like it's been almost two hours already. How much longer are you gonna be reading these comments? <laughs> anyway, yes, a lot of time is put in for uh, games to be developed. And I think as a society, we're growing into these people. Dead game, dead game, this game bullshit, blah, blah, blah. What did I say? I said it earlier. We're becoming ungrateful little pricks. So there you go. Thank you, Leo. You agree with me? Very well said. I don't think it's a hot take. That's just facts. Well done, Leo. The Tempest says, Black Ops 2 Zombies is overrated. Out of the six maps, two of them are garbage, and one of them is just a multiplayer map. I don't care if the game has two S-tier maps, having two of three F-tier maps disqualifies it from being... You. Being the best. Okay, Transit. Oh, man, I actually might agree with this. I did not like Transit. I... Oh, bro, I actually think I agree with this. I don't think I enjoyed Black Ops 2 for zombies. And also because I didn't get to play with the guys too much when it comes to the zombies. Uh, I did not like Transit. E this could be... This could be bad. Let me see De uh, Doris. Bro, I, I, I don't think I played much zombies. Yeah, I didn't. This is the one with the launch pad. That Black Ops steak is not a hot take. That's boiling in a pot of tar. Then realizing it was an execution and getting shot for it. Isn't this the one where, like, Evan used the launch pad and launched people off this map? Yeah, it is, isn't it? I never played this. Yeah, I might end up agreeing with this, because I never played these. I love... Black Ops 1 Zombies is my favorite... My favorite game for zombies. Black Ops 1 was amazing. It, like, no one can deny that the zombies in Black Ops 1 were, were good. Buried? And is Buried the one with the... Is this... Yeah, this this one. This is a good map. Buried was a good map. I, I like... I like Buried. Um... Is that all the maps? Yeah, I might actually have to agree with this. Transit, I hate it. I f***ing hated Transit. I think I just never played Black Ops 2 Zombies. Nope, agree. Black Ops 3, though. It was cool. Black Ops 3 was, was good for what they did with opening up for maps. Wasn't that the one that they did? Yeah, they opened it up for maps and... But... For, like, Call of Duty made maps, Black Ops 1 was the... F okay, alright, we're almost done. We're almost done, you impatient shits. Hydro Hunter says, Kingdom Hearts is not worth the hype unless you're a fat Disney mom or Discord mom. I agree with that. Kingdom Hearts is crap. Kingdom Hearts is boring. It's boring. I don't care. Kingdom Hearts sucks. I'm just gonna say it. It sucks. It sucks. I'm sure the early ones, the early ones, okay, the play, maybe the, the early two, the first two could have been really good. Didn't really play them. But I played the recent one that came out from, uh, what's, oh god, what's the studio that made Final Fantasy? Isn't it them who made it? Square Enix. They came out with that, that one recent enough. It was kind of crap. It was, it was crap. Meanwhile. But you didn't wait. Oh! oh yes! Yes! Hey there, fellas. Yes! So, what are you creeping up to? Yes! I love you, Donald! Out how to get all but I heard... Yeah, skip game. Yeah, I never played it. But I heard uh, one and two really good. 
one and two on the PlayStation 2. Was PlayStation 1 had one? PlayStation 2 had two. Kingdom Hearts 3 that I played? Well, crap. I didn't like that. Okay, so, okay. So, I will admit I never played 1 and 2. I've heard great things about 1 and 2. But the one that I played was 3, and I was like, I don't get this. What? what, what, what? People say Kingdom Hearts is amazing. So, let's... Okay, I'll admit Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't their best. Okay, right. So, this one is a... Meh, meh, meh. Meh, 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 meh. I, mm, I think this one we kind of have to leave in neutral land. We, I, I think it's unfair for me to say anything, considering I didn't play one or two. But this Disney mom and Discord mod, a there's a little bit of truth in this. There's a little bit of truth. I think there's a little bit of truth in this. Disney fans can be a little bit, you know, they're being blinded by, you know, oh, but you just say Mickey. <laughs> they don't talk shit about Mickey. I love you, Donald! <laughs> Last one, okay? Good news, it's last one. The real Guffy. 3D Mario games have gotten stale, as they all feel like different versions of the original Mario 64 game instead of a genuine improvement, like most people say Mario 64 is their favorite instead of any of the newer ones. I believe no other game says this is more than Mario Odyssey as Sunshine. I can't believe you And Galaxy done this. feel more, far, uh, far more original than Mario Odyssey, as without the whole Happy gimmick, it just feels like Mario 64, but open run. The best Mario game ever is Mario Sunshine. I never played Galaxy. It looked okay. I heard it's decent. These round rooms are called domes. You observe galaxies from domes, such as these. Yeah, but the only one that is working now, powered Mario 64, I played it. The best game is Super Mario Sunshine. That is the best Mario game, in my opinion, ever made. I love it. Odyssey was okay. I don't think it's groundbreaking. I don't think it's mind-blowing, but I never played I never played Galaxy So I can't have an opinion on it, but Mario Sunshine is the best game I've ever played Mario related hands down. I Love I love Sunshine. I love it. You know, I love it. I've I've done it with crowd control had still had so much fun with it Sunshine's just it's just incredible. Odyssey is okay. I wasn't crazy about the city setting it just felt very, I don't know, I didn't like the whole in the city kind of feel. New York or wherever it was based. It, I like, I like the Mushroom Kingdom. Keep it, keep it there. That's it. We're done. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. And if you ever want to just yell at me and, and use, use Texas speech to piss me off, uh, come to our live streams. Okay, we stream on the main channel and also here on the extra channel. And then also on Twitch, which by the way, thank you everyone, 4,130 subs. Oh, 1,500 memberships. We're doing great. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I love you, Donald! <laughs>